Celebrated author Douglas Adams wrote in his magnum opus, A Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, about the importance of traveling with one's towel. And I have traveled extensively with my original Datsusara sport towel. However, Datsusara only sent me the new line of towels about four days ago, and I haven't really left the house. But I have been working outside extensively, and I would love to tell you how I've used all three towels in that time. First, the sport towel size has been my main right-hand man, wiping my sweat, cleaning my hands while I work. When I finished, my shoes were an absolute wreck. So I took the standard bath towel size, and I tied up my shoes in a little hobo bindle so I could take them home without getting my car dirty. And speaking of not getting my car dirty, I also discovered that the full-size yoga towel is the perfect size to cover your driver's seat from headrest down to the crook behind your knees so you don't get your car dirty. Datsusara hemp adventure towels aren't just for travel. They're also great for everyday life. What's up guys? In this third video in my Datsusara series, I want to go over Datsusara's towels. They have a lot of different sizes of towels and I have only had experience with one prior to receiving a shipment of towels from Datsusara to check out. Mostly because the towel that I use, even though I've used this thing for years, and I'll show it to you, it's great. I absolutely love it. It's just uh, sort of an unbleached cotton color. Uh, I don't remember what this was marketed as, maybe a sports towel or a dish towel. I call it a dish towel or a tea towel, but I have traveled with this thing to multiple states, multiple countries, and I always just keep this rolled up really small, about yay big, stuck in the very front pocket, this top front pocket of my Datsusara bag. And I'll talk more about that when I talk about the bag, but I've loved that towel. So when I found out they had a new series of towels come out, I believe it's the same hemp cotton blend, uh, but it's a khaki color and they have a bunch of different sizes. So I wanted to try them out, reached out to Chris, and they were kind enough to send me one of each of the new sizes. Now this one is the yoga towel slash beach towel. Um, and I tried this one last night. I took a shower, uh, dried off with it brand new out of the package, and then I washed it and dried it overnight and used it again this morning. And there was definitely a difference. After washing and drying it once, it just felt a lot softer and more absorbent. So I definitely recommend you wash and dry these before you use them. And there are things I like about these more than terry cloth towels and things that I don't. So let me go over those. First of all, this yoga one, obviously it's, you know, I'm 5'10", this looks about six feet long. Uh, it's the exact same size as a yoga mat and I do yoga. Uh, and I've noticed a lot of people will buy these lightweight towels to lay over their yoga mat. And I think that's because the sweat essentially makes your yoga mat kind of uh, sticky and grimy and uh, sometimes slippery. And it's easy to lay this down, pull it up like a pillowcase and throw it in the wash. I've never used one of these with my yoga mat, so I will. I'll try it out and I'll make another short video about it. Um, but I did use this as a bath towel. And now the first thing I noticed is these are very thin. They're about as thin as a linen sheet, and they're very lightweight. So initially it felt strange drying off with what it felt like a bed sheet. Um, I'm used to like a big fluffy terry cloth towel. But I was surprised to find that this hemp towel was actually extremely absorbent. It wasn't like as soft and cushy and cuddly as a terry cloth towel. And if it were cold, I don't think this would keep you as warm as a terry cloth towel, but it was just as absorbent as a terry cloth towel, if not more so, uh, dried me off perfectly. And then what I appreciated was I just sort of threw it up over a door and I let it sit for a couple of hours. Now I also wet a, uh, a terry cloth towel to test the amount of time it takes to dry. I came back about an hour and a half later and the hemp towel was already bone dry. My terry cloth towel 
was still wet after an hour of sitting in the open air, about an hour and a half. So I can see these towels being seriously advantageous for travel or camping for a couple of reasons. Let me make sure I'm recording. I am recording. This is why I need Screep. So these things, like I said, they're very lightweight, very thin, which means when you fold this thing up, now let's keep in mind, this is a six foot by about, you know, two and a half to three foot towel. And I can fold this thing up and roll it up to basically the size of a pair of socks. It takes up very little space and it would very easily go in the side pocket of my battle pack. It would just fit right here. There you go. And now I've got an entire yoga mat sized towel right there in the side pocket of my battle pack. And there is no way that I could roll up a terry cloth towel that small. See, I mean, there's just no way. So let's look at a size difference here. Here's my Datsusara hemp towel, all rolled up, tight as I could get it. And my terry cloth towel, which is coming undone now. Let's be fair. There we go. Size difference. All right, you see the size the difference of them folded? But the terry cloth towel is not even anywhere near as big as that other towel once you get it unrolled. They're the same width, but this only comes up to here. My Datsusara towel rolls up to about a quarter or a third the size, and it's this big. It's perfect for travel, for packing light. So let's go through a couple of the other sizes of this towel. This is the bath towel size. So this one is the same size as my terry cloth towel, just a couple of feet shorter than the yoga towel, which means I can roll this thing up even smaller. And I could potentially bring two full-size towels with me on my trip, and they each take up about the size of a pair of socks. I haven't used the bath towel yet, but I assume once I wash it and dry it, it'll work the same way as the larger towel. Now here is the sport towel, or what I refer to as a dish towel or a tea towel. And here it is in comparison size to the old model. All right, here's the old one. Here's the new one, they're the same size. Um, and then really the only difference I can see is in the color. This has a really nice little stripe pattern of uh, like khaki colored hemp. But otherwise they feel about the same. Now I'll tell you why I got into tea towels or dish towels. It was because there's something up with my biochemistry. I feel like I attract wasps more often than other people. If there is a wasp anywhere in my vicinity, I feel like it just comes right after me. Like it, it aggressively comes after me. Maybe that's because it smells my fear and I'm terrified of wasps which is just cyclical because I'm terrified of wasps because they constantly come after me. I get stung a lot. So I learned that my very favorite weapon against wasps is a tea towel. Roll it up like this, pop them out of the air, or roll it up and fold it over and you have a perfect wasp club. I've killed so many wasps. Come at me wasps. Actually don't, I'm terrified. And the last size, this is the golf towel. Now it looks about the same size as the sport towel, maybe a tiny bit smaller, but it's sewn in such a way that it always hangs folded. And it's got a little buckle, a little strap with a, with a snap, a snap. So I assume you could hang this over your belt. Again, I don't play golf. I don't know, I assume this is for drying your balls or polishing your shaft. I'm not a golfer, but I can see this being useful in a myriad of ways. If I just constantly have a towel right here on my belt, which I can unbutton and pull off if I want to, this would be great for bartenders or servers 
Um, I'm probably going to end up using this when I help my girlfriend in the garden so that I'll constantly have a towel hanging somewhere on my belt that I can just reach over and clean my hands off with. Uh, I'm not sure, but again, this is a really cool option um, for a towel. I will probably continue to use the sport towel size as my primary travel towel, although now when I know I'm going to go to a place that I, I'm going to be swimming or showering or staying for some time, I can bring two full-size bath towels in less than the amount of space it would be required to bring one terry cloth towel, which is why I usually don't. And once the towels are wet, I can just throw them up somewhere and in an hour and a half, or an hour even, uh, they're probably going to be ready to go. Dry as a bone, ready to pack back in my stuff. So I think the Dotsasara towels are definitely worth your time. My shoutro today goes to a really unique YouTube channel that I enjoy, and I hope you would enjoy it. Uh, it's called Steve1989, and he eats MREs. Meals ready to eat, like military, pre-packed, long shelf life, packaged food. And he does both new MREs and sometimes old MREs. And this guy, I've, no lie, I've watched him eat hardtack from the Civil War. I've watched him eat World War II rations. I've watched him eat Vietnam era rations. He's still alive, so I guess he's doing all right. But what I love about Steve is the way he talks about the food. He calls it the food of heroes. And he considers, you know, the soldiers survived on this food. He wants to know what that experience was like. So he opens the MREs, he cooks them the way the soldiers would have cooked them. He drinks the coffee, he smokes the cigarettes. He wants the full experience and he reviews it. He reviews these MREs with the same amount of culinary passion and know-how that, you know, a professional food critic would review a meal in a three-star restaurant, but he's reviewing MREs. Uh, and I just dig his passion and he's got a really, um, like, calm, relaxing demeanor in his videos, and they're pretty meditative. I really enjoy them. I'm actually going to be sending Steve a gift from Datsusara, and they're these little travel chopsticks, and I want to show these to you. They come out of the package, they just like two tiny little aluminum ink pens, but like a, if you've ever seen a collapsible billiard stick or a collaps collapsible pool stick, you pull the butt cap off, the tips come out, They screw in with these really nice little machined brass fittings, and here you have a travel chopstick. It says Datsusara right there. So the pair of these take up about as much space as two ink pens, and I just really love the way they come apart and screw together. Um, so Steve, I've seen you eat MREs from Asia that have a lot of rice components. I'm going to send you these travel chopsticks from Datsusara. And I don't know if you know how to use chopsticks or not. Never too late to learn. But definitely give them a try and see what you think. You guys check out Steve. I'll put a link below.